So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna rush over through what ng4 is and basically how to iterate over data in Angular. So let's get started. Alright, in this tutorial we're gonna cover basically ng4 and this would be a really quick tutorial because there's not a lot to do in ng4 again on its own and actually I'm fed of these tutorials which just cover a single topic without actually linking other stuff with it. So let's just quickly go through this and get started with some app building which actually teaches how to link interlink and use everything together. So um, ng4, first of all, where to use? It's easy. Wherever you see iterables in form of arrays or maybe your components as well. Um, in case your Angular, you write something which makes it makes your components iterable. If you can do something which is, if you can create something which is iterable, or if you can get something like that, then you can use ng4 with it. Then for the syntax part, it's easy, just like you have to write the same thing which is here, right? And uh, let's get started with some code then. So first of all, let's just create some dummy data here. So I'm going to create a data variable, which is an array, which consists of an object of persons. So let's just say name Mehul, and um, let's just say we have another field like uh, online true something like that then let's just say we have name abc online false then let's just say we have name xyz online true right let's just say we have three records and in your case you would be probably getting these records from some sort of api or your database or something like that so that makes sense now what i want is that i want to display these records nicely on my view so what we need to do here is that we'll just create a table here which just consists of some trs and tds so let's just say my td is name and the second one is is online and let's just say um here i say ng4 thing here so how would i use ng4 here well let's just say um you want to repeat some element so on that particular element you would use star ng4 just like this then you would go something like let the temporary variable assigned to every record for example i can say let record of now uh, we can just rename this records here so that it makes more sense record of records right and once you write this let record of records what this means is that every record every element in this in this array would be um, stored in record in every iteration so now you can access it something like uh, record dot name and record dot online status Okay, so now what we have is that when we access record.name, we'll get this record, this value, mayhole, abc, and xyz, right here, right? And uh, what we can do is uh, wrap this inside a td. And uh, we can also say record.online here, right? And now if we take a look in the browser, we can see that we get something like name and is online has two columns. So you can see that here we get name mehul is online true false true as the values we had in our records now what we can do is actually we can access the index values as well so for example we can create a serial number here something like this and here what we can say is i and here we'll say let i is equal to index now you can name this anything my index or whatever you want but this should be index right so if i change it to my index take a look you can see that we get 0 1 2 here and uh, obviously you can just do my index plus one just in case you want to start with one 
Okay, now similarly what we can do is right here we can access the even odd records as well. Now this functionality, all of this functionality is provided by ng4 out of the box. So you do not need to do anything. I can say that let um, even records is equal to even and let odd records is equal to odd and then and now what we have is that these even records variables would be this even record variable would be true whenever we are iterating over even number of record and this variable odd records would be true whenever we are iterating over odd number record right so what we can say is that uh, um, let's just say we pretty much want to add a class let's just say we want to add a class to our <clears throat> um this tr right so we would we can just highlight it differently so what i'm going to do is make use of this ng class directive and just learn about this that <clears throat> this directive would apply conditional classing depending upon the conditions you supply so for example i can say that <clears throat> i want to apply the class um, let's just see odd if it is an odd record rdc rd and we can just change it to this so it makes more sense otherwise apply even if it is an even record and let's just see if we got that right and take a look in the browser so if we take a look inside our inspector we should be able to see that this has a class of even because this is index zero this is a class of odd because it has index one. This is class even because it has index two, right? So what we can do now is we can say something like tr dot even has a background of black, color white, and tr of odd has a background of red and color white. Okay, so now if you take a look in the browser, you can see clearly what I mean. So our even records are black 0 and 2 and all our odd records are red so now we can just uh <clears throat> pretty much if we duplicate these records you would be able to see that we have a nice little table in here with the uh, alternate colors right so if we take a look you can see <clears throat> we are done where to use we have done the syntax part we have done <clears throat> how to get index and how to get odd even now we can also do this first element and last element thing so <clears throat> what we can do is pretty much similar thing we can say in here um let's just say let first element first record is first and let last record is last and we can just say uh class only where first as first record and last as last record so if we take a look here um, <clears throat> in our first record what we have is that we get the class as even and first and our last record gets the class as even and last right so now you can do even more further customizations with it so yeah that is pretty much it what we have with ng4 and that's all we are probably will gonna need basics basics that is all we're gonna need for ng4 and i trading over i tradable data in angular and that's all for this video and i'll see you then in the next one and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications